Hello and welcome to the channel. Today's video is my review of the POC Octal Mips. Now, I'm going to do this review with positives, negatives, and then my overall impression. So, I bought the POC Octal because of the ventilation, basically. I, I had a really bad accident, needed a new helmet, and so I went for the MIPS option. It might not be the most aero of aero helmets, for that there is actually the aero version of this, but the breathability of this helmet is second to none. Another thing that I've noticed is that it's incredibly light. Um, it weighs about half as much as the helmet it replaces. Um, and it has very soft, silky straps that are very, very small and very thin, but very strong. And it has a yoke around the ear. So you don't get that annoying moment when it, it pulls back and forward and it's never really in the right place. Or one goes over here and the other one's like back here and you here and it starts strangling you. And it's a very nice uh, retention system. And I also like that the the actual straps are built into the helmet um, core itself it, it gives a very comfortable especially now I've got uh, facial scars um, under here which is right where where a buckle normally goes speaking of the buckle it's a it's a nice buckle with with soft round edges and it's also curved um, which is nice and the adjustment is super easy the straps are very thin, but support the head very nicely, and I have a very big head, um, so it needs a lot of supporting. And I also found that I wear this helmet slightly tighter than I did my previous helmet, just because the support's so nice, and it comes like further round on the back of your head and further round on the sides of your head. It's a much more confidence-inspiring helmet. Um, not just because it's mips, but because of the way it fits your head. It, it fits round your head um, beautifully. The, a lot of helmets don't give me the coverage that I would necessarily like. And, and that can lead to lack of confidence. Not only a safety issue, but it's also that thing in the back of your mind, you know? But I, I, I dig the way this thing looks. So, and I, I also like the colour options. And that the colour options that you can buy it in aren't the obvious colour options. Um, you know, the dark blue's nice, the pink's nice, the the, the array of colours are nice. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the bright orange or the fluorescent green, but some people will be. Um, I also like that it has reflective strips inside the helmet and also on top, which is a nice little touch. So that if you're changing an inner tube in the dark or whatever, um, even if you have a, a light on the back of your helmet, if you've got your head down, it's not necessarily visible. The top of your head is. That's quite a cool feature. Um, it's little things like that. The and it comes with a nice helmet bag, which will keep it nice for a long time. I was actually worried at how all this retention system would hold up. Um, to a bit of use and abuse because it's very spaghetti it's very thin it's very but actually it's very strong and it's very well made and all the plastics involved in the construction of um seem good quality which i hate plastic um just as a, a rule in life but actually they're all very good quality and the, the actual shell of the helmet as well feels very good quality and feels very nice i love the fact that the padding is mineral minimal but comprehensive so it, it like it touches you in the minimum places possible but it's also comprehensive enough to be incredibly comfy this is the comfiest helmet i've ever had when i'm wearing it it feels like i'm not wearing one um which i've never had that before so it's price now it's on par with all the other mips helmets out there um, re retail price is about 350 quid, but I 
managed to shop around on the internet and with the help of Merriam. And I bought this helmet for under 300 quid, which is a huge saving. And I was talking about this helmet with my best friend Jamie, who's been a BMX rider for years and a mountain biker. And he looks at me and he goes, well, even your life's worth at least 350 quid. So, if you think about it that way, it's not too bad. I mean, if you, I've, for the last couple of weeks I've been riding a bike that costs 350 quid. And if you look at it like that, that this helmet cost as much as that bike, then it seems expensive. But if you've just spent 10 grand on a brand new S-Works with all the trimmings, then why buy a cheap helmet? I think that 350 quid is not a lot of money uh, when compared with your life. And the fact that this isn't just a really expensive helmet with a nice name on it, it's a helmet that has really good safety. So that's that's an awesome thing. Let's get on to negative things that I things I dislike about this helmet. The first thing that I'm gonna say is probably the the stickers, if I'm honest. The like why should a really good helmet like this have stickers that are, stick out? Wouldn't it be awesome if just the logos, on, on mountain biking helmets, the logos are built into the shell of the helmet. Now it's a much heavier shell, I know, but I don't see why there's a reason why we have to have stickers on our helmets. I mean, it's 2017, um, I'm filming this on a camera the size, well, smaller than a deck of cards. Like, why do we need stickers on a helmet? Why can't it just be part of the design of the helmet? Which, by the way, these stickers are like fluorescent-y um, but I just wish that the stickers were part of the actual shell and so that I didn't have to worry about over time scuffing them and them getting damaged and stuff like that. The other thing that I'm not a huge fan of is the fact that look how much strap there is left, look how much adjustment there is left on that. Now granted I have a huge bean, right? but I don't have a massive chin and if I did have a massive chin there is almost no adjustment left maybe five millimeters so if you've got a giant head like me okay I'm six foot six blah 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 but there are bigger dudes than me and this strap really isn't it could do with being about 10 15 millimeters longer it could be that much longer without being irritating um, and if this helmet were tested as a small or a medium, then that wouldn't be an issue. I've heard from some people that MIPS helmets can be small. Um, not this one. This one's perfectly fine. Um, and like I said, when I was downhill mountain biking, I had to special order my Troy Designs full face helmet because they don't sell my size, or they didn't then sell my size in Spain. Um, because it was an extra large but anyway so yeah I, I like that's not enough adjustment if you're watching this part that's not that's not great um, that may be nitpicking but with this helmet it's that good you can only nitpick um, it is something that I do generally genuinely find slightly irritating though and so is so is the lack of adjustment. It's not a problem for me, but I think it would be for someone. Um, now then, my overall impressions. I'm glad I bought this helmet. If I were to do it all again, I would buy this helmet. I wouldn't go for a Smith or any other company. In fact, the other day I saw a guy on a Smith, um, in a Smith, using a Smith, wearing a Smith, and he was um, he was incredibly sweaty and I wasn't um, and I was glad I bought this and it's a good looking helmet in my opinion aesthetics being what they are they are a personal opinion um, my personal opinion is that this helmet looks awesome it is bigger than the standard Pock Octal 
like much bigger um, and it's not as good looking as the standard Pock Octal. In my opinion, the standard Pock Octal is a badass looking helmet. It looks flipping awesome. This one, it has a much bigger, thicker rim just because the MIPS liner requires a bit of space. Um, it's, it's a fact of the helmet, but this is a, hel a safer helmet than the standard Pock Octal. So if you're if you care about what you look like um, more than you know living, then the, I'm sure the standard pocket octal does a perfect job. Though, having said that, but given the option, I'd still go for this one again over the standard pocket octal. I'm glad I have the safety, and I think that this might be slightly better cooling than the standard pocket octal, given that you have an air gap between the actual helmet and the MIPS liner. It allows more air to go, but it also allows more heat to be removed. So yeah, if I were to if I were to go helmet shopping again, I'd buy another one of these, which is to me all the praise a helmet needs. Three most important things in a helmet: does it make you like an alien? Hopefully not. Is it is it confidence inspiring? Yes. Um, it, it, it has really good fit. Uh, it's really easily adjustable and I haven't got my hair caught in it or anything like that although my hair's not that long at the minute because Spanish summer uh, and it ventilates incredibly well and it's good quality so and it, it, this is not a paid promotion I bought this helmet with my money and if it was a bag of crap I would have slagged it off to high heaven happily but it's not you know, it's, it's, it is a good helmet. If you have the money, should you go for this helmet? Yes, I think you should. If you have the money, should you go for this helmet over a standard Pock Octal? Yes, I think you should, because of the extra safety. Um, and the extra ventilation is nice as well. If you have the money, should you go for this helmet over the... Um, over the Aero helmet, which just has the opening here um, depending on where you live I think if you live anywhere but here it's flipping 120 degrees Fahrenheit some days you know 40 or 50 degrees I need the ventilation do you need the ventilation in England no do you need the ventilation in most of France no as long as you're not riding in midday heat for you know middle of July no so I think in most cases you should you can go for the aero lid but I need the ventilation so if you are a rider that gets incredibly hot then get this one if you're not get the aero one but they're the same price so it doesn't matter um, color wise I like the bright I like being visible but I also like being cool and there's no point going for a super ventilated helmet in my opinion and going for a black one because why would you do that uh, um, yeah, so I hope you like this video guys if you did like this video please there's a little like button just down there if you click it it lets other people know about this channel and uh, I think all you guys that subscribe to me watch nearly every video that I that I make which is incredible and I couldn't couldn't be happier um, so please click the like button because it, it means we can draw more cool people to this channel you can also hit me up on Twitter um, I will now have Instagram uh, my Twitter and Instagram and all that is down in the description as well stay seen out there guys stay safe and I'll see you all in the next video bye bye